An angry population there is demanding answers, and Texas Tech graduate Nader Mazur is one of them. He's an engineer in Midland, but as you might expect, was born and raised in Beirut, still has family in that area. KMX Laura Law had talked to him today about how he and his family are doing. Brian, Mezer says that thankfully his parents and younger brother that live just a few miles away from the explosion are not injured and are doing okay. The worst explosion in Lebanon in years, caused by the same source as the Oklahoma City bomber, but stronger. Texas Tech grad Nader Mezer says he feels lucky to be here right now as he sees his hometown and his country suffer. A lot of people are still unaccounted for right now after the explosion, so, you know, we can't really uh, know for sure that everybody we know is fine. And Shock waves shattering glass and windows within miles of the explosion, including ones in Mezzer's parents' neighborhood. There's, you know, close to 300,000 people that are going to sleep uh, in, you know, houses with no uh, windows anymore. The area near the explosion was a hot spot for nightlife, bars, and restaurants, a place he went to with friends growing up. I guess sadness, you know, sets in because I've been to that place where the explosion happened, you know, many times there. The wake of the explosion leaves destruction and death, but also unanswered questions from an angry, devastated city. Mezer calling for an investigation into the disaster that could have been prevented. It might have been like an unfortunate accident, but there was a lot of stuff leading up to that, that if, was, if it was handled correctly, this would not have happened. So there should be an investigation into this. There should be, uh, you know, implications. For now, he says he's thankful his family and friends are safe. He had planned a trip with his own wife and child to go back later this month, a trip that has been postponed indefinitely. I guess we're getting by. Everybody is getting by over there. You know, there's not a lot you can do. Mezer also urges people to donate what they can to places like the Lebanese Red Cross and the Lebanese Food Bank.